Well, I'm here to express again my condolences to the government and people of Venezuela on the clear uh, attack on the people of Venezuela by the assassination of this young uh, legislator. It, it is in fact a terrorist act uh, and it is something which all of us in this world, all right-thinking people, uh, should condemn uh, because it has happened in Venezuela today. It could be very well be one of our countries. You know. and, uh, it is all an effort to destabilize the government of President Maduro, to undermine the tremendous uh, efforts of the, of the government and people of Venezuela in its continued march towards its absolute independence um, from any hegemonic uh, um, empire. We in Dominica and in the Liberal Party, we stand in total and absolute solidarity with the government of President Maduro, the people of Venezuela, and the Socialist, United Socialist Party of Venezuela in condemning uh, this act of terrorism on the people of Venezuela. And it is unfortunate that the international media never really carried this, um, this incident. But had it happened in, in any way in North America or Europe, it would have been the headlines for several months. Uh, but uh, it is in Venezuela. There are people um, in certain parts of the world are, who are not in support of the government of President Maduro, an elected government, a government that was elected by the people of Venezuela, and which every single international institution has, de has declared that the elections were free and fair. The, the courts in Venezuela declared the elections to be free and fair. The people of Venezuela have accepted the elections to be free and fair. But there are some who do not reside in Venezuela and who have no real interest in Venezuela outside of its uh, natural resources, uh, who believe that the government of President Maduro is not uh, a properly um, instituted government. But we in Dominica will continue to stand in solidarity with Venezuela. We stand in solidarity with them through the petro Caribbean arrangement, through the ALBA arrangement. And of course, we um, voted for Venezuela at the UN um, to become a non-security member of the um, UN Security Council. And I also want to commend the leadership of President Maduro um, in convening ALBA summit in, in Cuba for the 20th of October. This is the first leader in the Americas, um, and indeed the world, um, who has reached out and said, look, we need to have a, a global response to the Ebola um, pandemic. And it speaks of the, of the kind-heartedness of the Venezuelan people. It speaks to the, the caring for the less fortunate and the, struggle, and the struggles which many countries and citizens have to go through. So we really want to commend the leadership I exemplified again by the people of Venezuela in being the first country in the world uh, to convene a meeting of, um, of, of heads to discuss this Ebola crisis. Um, so again, I want to um, say to you, uh, Ambassador, that we stand in total solidarity with your government. Um, we are fraternal brothers and fraternal friends, and you can always count on us for solidarity in any sphere of the advancement and development of the people of Venezuela. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Sure. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you.